People are making numerous dollars by selling AI-created digital patterns, and now, you will have the ability to do it as well. This is because in this video, I will demonstrate to you precisely how you can create these patterns at no cost, as well as the best website to sell them to maximize your profits. So, stay tuned till the very end. Let's not waste any more time and dive right in. So first, we will check out how we can create the best selling patterns, like these products people are selling on Etsy using AI. As you can see, all of them are making a lot of sales. They are simple, seamless patterns, but they might take a lot of effort if we try to make them from scratch. However, that is not the case here, because we are going to use AI to create them. Now let's create our patterns. And for that, we are going to use Flux.1 AI. It's created by Black Forest Labs. I know there are other AI websites like Leonardo and Ideogram, but it is better than them for creating patterns and shirt designs, and you can use its images for commercial use. They have three different plans which you can purchase according to your needs, but we are going to use it for free and can still use its images for commercial purposes, but you can always purchase their plans for better speed. Flux doesn't have its own website for creation, but you can use it on their partner websites. And for that we are going to use Glyph Alpha, where you can create your own AI. Here we are using Flux Pro Simple POD Prompts AI created by Philip Anders. You can watch his video on this topic to get complete knowledge about this website. It will be very helpful. And here you can see that the results are also very great. And it's pretty good with the text also. We can create any kind of images here, from realistic to designs for print on demand. The link of this AI is in the description. Now let's try generating something. Here I'm typing for a seamless pattern of cherry. Let's see what results it generates. Now just click on run, this glyph, and it will start generating the results. And our image is ready, and it's better than my expectations. I'm not exaggerating, but it created a pretty accurate, seamless pattern. And if you noticed, these types of designs are very popular on Christmas as wrapping paper also. But let's try making it in doodle style and check out the results. And again, the results are amazing, and it will look better as a digital pattern design as compared to the last one. You can easily download your image by clicking this download button here. And after downloading, if you don't want anyone else using your image or prompt, you simply scroll down and find your image, then click on the three dots, and then click delete to remove your image from the website. And it's pretty great with animal patterns also, like here, I'm trying to generate a bunny seamless pattern. Again. It's pretty accurate, and the pattern looks great. And lastly, I've generated this seamless pattern of boho flowers. Let's download it and check out where we can sell these patterns to earn maximum profit. Now let's start the second part of the video where we will see the best website to sell patterns. So let's check it out. This website is called Spoon Flower. It is an online platform that allows users to create, print, and sell custom fabrics, wallpaper, and home decor items. Spoonflower is the best website for selling patterns and also the place if you are looking for high-end home decor stuff, and they can be like pretty high depending on the quality of their material. Here you can see that people have uploaded different types of patterns. These are 1970 floral design prints. Similarly, we can also create designs for different themes and also specifically for a particular product. Like this product here, as you can see, the designs we created using Flux are as good as this one or any other design on the website. So we can be assured of the quality of the designs we created using Flux. Spoonflower has a wide range of products, from bed covers to wallpapers, and everything else related to fabrics and home decor. Now let's see how you can sell your designs on Spoonflower. For this, click on the Join button from the right corner, and you will see this page. Fill all the necessary details and click on Sign Up and your account will be created. I already have an account, so I'll just log into it. After you have created your account, click on this account button. After that, click on upload your design, and it will take you to this page. Here are some instructions given for the design file. Spoonflower only accepts JPG and PG files, and they must not exceed 40 megabytes in size, and 150 DPI resolution is recommended. Now let's upload the image we created using Flux. For this, click on choose file. Then after selecting your file, click on I agree to upload, and it will take you to this page. Then it will show you some instructions as to how to use the editor. So first we are going to edit the thumbnail. For that, click on the edit thumbnail. Here you can replace, 
download and delete your design. To change the thumbnail, click on replace current file, and you will see three different types of thumbnails to choose from. I'm going to choose the third one, so I'll just select it and click on save. And now we are going to edit the title and other details, and for that, click on edit title and search. First we will add the title, I'll just give a simple one for now. As for the description, you just have to describe your design and use some keywords, and after that, the most important thing you need to fill out carefully is the tag section. So first we have to select the style of our design, like bohemian, retro, traditional, tropical, etc. You can select them according to your design. The next thing we need to select is patterns and techniques like animal print, arrows, brush strokes, dots, etc. This is to show what basic pattern your design has in it. Next up are seasons, holidays and occasions. Here you have to basically select the event you create your design for like Christmas, New Year, etc. And then you can select up to 13 other tags, and you don't need to find them yourself, as Spoonflower has a complete list of tags you can use, and you cannot add your own tags, you'll have to select them from the list, and they will be automatically categorized under style, event and techniques. And after that, if your design is a mature content, you'll have to check this box here, and if it's not, just let it unchecked, then here you can fill some additional information which is not necessary. After that, if we scroll down, you will see your design on different products. And we can edit each product also. For that, click on edit. Here we change the grid style to many arrangements. The basic style will probably suit every design, but you can change it if you like. Then we can adjust the scale or size of the pattern from here, as many designs look empty or some look too busy, so we can adjust their size to make them filled or clean. And lastly, select the fabric of the product. Spoonflower has a wide range of fabric material to choose from, so you will basically find any fabric you want. Then click save and the changes will be saved. And now to publish your design for sale, scroll to the top and click on for sale. You'll see this box here. First you'll have to click on verify and fill out your tax information, which is a one-time process, and then click on proof. Your design will be available for sale. And lastly, another great thing about Spoonflower is that your commission will increase with your sales. You can withdraw any amount with no waiting period, and your starting commission will be 10% of the retail price of the product and go up to 15%, which is pretty great. And Spoonflower also promotes your designs. If you take part in challenges and upload your designs on social media using Spoonflower hashtag. So that's it for this video guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And if it was, please like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming useful videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay creative and stay awesome.